All right, everyone. So we have another pretty interesting report here. This is via ESPN via Ramona Shelburne. And it's talking about Luka Doncic, his teammates, and Jason Kidd. Here's what she wrote. In the three seasons he has coached Doncic, Jason Kidd has told him several truths. That he needed to stop making enemies of officials with persistent whining. That he needed to give a more consistent effort on defense. And that he needed to get in better shape to be at his best when his team needed Kidd has said these things publicly and privately, so have Doncic's teammates in Dallas and on the Slovenian national team. So what this is saying is, Doncic's teammates, we're not going to talk about on the Slovenian national team, we're going to talk about his teammates on the Dallas Mavericks. Now, I'm thinking that this report is talking about maybe earlier in his career, because I can tell you this, I don't think in this final series, at the very least, there's anybody on this team Minus maybe Kyrie Irving, who was telling Luka Doncic to stop complaining or to play defense. And just because there's nobody on this team to really lead in that way. Now, do I think Jason Kidd was telling him that? 110%. But is Derek Lively or Tim Hardaway Jr. or any of these saying this? I don't think so. Now, Luka should be taking this to heart. Because it is true. You know, it's... It's amazing when the media turns on a player or turns on somebody, it does so in a really merciless fashion, as you can see, right? We went from literally just, what, what has it been, like a week and a half? A week and a half ago, where, you know, the Mavericks were going to beat the Celtics, the backcourt of Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving was one of the best of all time, to now we are at the point where, yeah, basically he does all this stuff wrong, he doesn't play defense, Jason Kidd was talking to him. He makes enemies of the refs. All of that stuff that, that I just mentioned was true before this series against the Celtics. Every bit of it was true to anybody who watched the games. Him yelling at the refs, him not playing defense, but the media just chose to, because they were buying into what this team was selling, they chose to act like it didn't matter. And now, you know, you have Winhorst. He's going at him. You know, Shelburne now has this article talking about how, you know, Jason Kidd has kind of been, let, which, by the way, my guess is that's all true. The point is, where is this stuff when it matters? When is this stuff when these guys are making these, you know, actual predictions before the series? Where is it when you're discussing who's going to win and who's going to lose in a series? You know, the, the media just flips on its own, on its head, basically. At the first sign of their narrative being slightly off, they flip it completely in in sports and it's crazy you know if you thought that Luka was the best player in the series if you thought that the Mavericks were going to beat the Celtics you know you should be focusing on the Celtics winning and is there really anything you've seen in the series that makes you believe that he's not the best in the series I mean truly if you look at if you watch the series Luka's scoring you know pretty efficiently he's scoring in a high clip turnovers have been an issue but he never he wasn't playing defense before this but it's not act like he was locking down and guarding another team's best player. I mean, sure, they're, the Mavericks have been better defensively this year, but come on. So this is an interesting report, but I wish we could have heard some of this, you know, before the series. Because, once again, when people are making predictions about who's going to win, why this matters, you know, when the series is basically... Like, we just saw all of this on tape. We watched Luka Doncic get blown by at a historic rate in this series. We watched him yell at the officials over and over again. We saw that. We kind of saw his, you know, yelling at the officials. Where was that before? You know, instead they said, yeah, maybe he does it, but it's not a big deal. It it ended up being a big deal. So thank you all for watching. We will see you next time.